Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Tessa's TV show, and I don't like my hair. It's pretty. Kind of. But I made sure my hair was going to be straight, because I have class picture day today, and I was going to... I wanted it straight because I'm going to do... I don't... I was going to do a hairstyle, but it was going to be easier for me to do a straight hair, but that didn't work, so... Now I have my pretty wavy hair, my natural hair. So, I'm starting my conspiracy theory, and I'm a mess, and I've been really busy this week, and I haven't done any sort of researching on Area 51 at all. So, this was the last minute video, so I will probably redo an actual conspiracy theory video. But I pulled up six facts about Area 51 that will make you think. Because this was the best we're gonna get. This was the last minute. I've been really busy. So, fact number uno. Mysteries of Area 51. Area 51 is one of the strangest places in the world. Stories about flying saucers and extraterrestrial creatures are quite commonly attached to the area. Located in the middle of Nevada, your dreams take flight into something bizarre here at Area 51. It has quite amazingly managed to create a subculture, and there are people who are dedicated believers to all things outwardly eh, that have to do with this place. UFO buffs can sometimes have outlandish theories, bordering conspiracies, and we have heard them all. Number two. The infamous interview of 1989. <clears throat> this was way before my time. I'd never heard of this, so, yeah. Robert Lazar shot to global fame with an interview he had given with a Las Vegas radio station. Robert, or Bob, claims that he worked at Area 51 and that he knows for sure all of the clandestine extraterrestrial activities. He claimed it to be a place where the extraterrestrial is studied, and in fact, the area, according to Lazar, housed alien aircrafts. This, when Area 51 got exposed in the public eye for the first time. <clears throat> I just woke up. My voice. <clears throat> I'm not sick. There's a cat crossing the road outside my window. <laughs> I'm sorry, I guess so just, I looked out the window, did you see a cat walking across the street? I've never seen that cat before. Okay. Number three. It started for military activities. Area 51 is now a new place, has been around for a long time. The area was first developed in 1955 for military war. It was deemed as an ideal spot for testing the U-2 training pilots. The U-2 aircrafts were developed within eight months. Other aircrafts were also tested, and a radar test facility was also established in 1959. <laughs> Number four. First reference by a president. Former President Barack Obama was the first president in the history of the United States to mention Area 51 in the public. At the annual Kennedy Center Honor Ceremony in 2013, Obama mentioned the place while cracking a joke. While it was a cool thing to say, nobody overlooked the fact that a president uttered the term Area 51 for the first time since its existence. This only made people believe that such a place does exist. Number five, it is a restricted area. By right now, you all know that Area 51 is a restricted area, so you cannot just venture into the place. Even then, there has been in some enthusiastic efforts in this regards, such as the recent Storm Area 51 event, which eventually turned into a festival, but the place has such great interest that 2 million people actually signed up for the Storm Area 51 event. But in reality, there are armed guards patrolling the area. Number 6. 6. Totally but I'm losing my mind. A fake moon landing theory. This is no ordinary place, and so like all extraordinary places, the theories attached to this place are also quite over the top. One such theory is that the moon landing was fake, and it was in fact filmed here in Nevada's Area 51. 
You want to know who the conspiracy theorist who filmed the whole thing? No other than the American filmmaker Stanley Kubrick, who supposedly helped NASA. Well, there's a seventh fact. Number seven. Hold on. B.O.B.